I am Kaylin Ramsey, Director of Member Engagement and Professional Development here at MCCA. A little fun fact about me is I have all of my wisdom teeth. And I guess another fun fact about me is that I think that's a fun fact. (laughs) And I am Bobby Remus, and I am the Director of Communication here. And my fun fact is I used to live in Germany. His is a little bit more fun than my fact, but who's comparing? In this webinar, we will go over how to navigate your member profile in member clicks, accessing committees through member clicks, viewing our events, um, and going over the resources that member clicks pr- provides to you, our members. Okay, so with that, let's dive right in. So why do we use member clicks? Why do we use an AMS? That is a great question, and it's actually pretty easily answered. So it's unlike Facebook or LinkedIn um, that are more focused on prospective members and the public, Member Clicks is a members-only community with features that are just for you. So we'll get into more of this as we go, but you can connect with and share information with your peers across the state. Some of them you may not even know exist, but you can look them up through member clicks and find them and connect with them. You can access your invoices and committees, see what you have registered for and our upcoming events, and you can view resources through the members only repository. So let's dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through uh, the online network. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so here we are. And so this is the home screen at mccatoday.org. And on the main ribbon, you're going to find several helpful resources, and we'll cover those in a little bit. So, But first, um, if you're not a member and you're watching this webinar, welcome. Uh, to join, you're going to click uh, the Join button, very straight and forward. And you'll just scroll down to where it says New Member, and you're going to enter in your email address, click Register, and then you'll complete a submission form. It's just a few questions. Uh, You'll pay your membership fee, and then you'll be on your way. For everyone else that is logging into their profiles, in the top right is the Member Login button. Just go ahead and click that. Um, And if you do not know your username or password, just click the links provided here, and they will guide you. Um, your username is typically typically your college password or your college email address, um, and your password will be sent to that email address. Luckily, my information is already provided because I do not know it or remember it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just log in. And the first screen that you'll land on is your member profile. Um, so here you're going to find uh, in- helpful information. On the My Profile page, uh, when you scroll down, you're going to find all this information that is uh, only available to you. The best thing that we always recommend is when you log in is to click Edit and go ahead and update all of these fields. Uh, This information helps us in the back end provide you specific communications that are relevant whether to your job title um, or specific job function, and additionally, Providing information such as your job title and where you work helps um, other members find you when they're wanting to collaborate about different projects or other topics of interest. For example, I just sent out communications last week for the Trustee and Executive Leadership Conference. I was able to send a message with pertinent information about this event to everyone with certain job titles, and everyone should have received that communication, and then they were able to sign up. Yeah, so it really makes things a lot more helpful um, on our end and definitely for you as well. When you hover over the My Profile tab, if you click on Invoices, I don't know that I have any, let's find out. Oh, I have, oh, wow. Um, uh, Here you can find all the invoices that are uh, linked to your account. You owe us a lot of money, Bobby. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Pay up. Oh, gosh. Um, So here uh, we get phone calls and emails all the time asking for us to forward on invoices. 
and luckily they're all linked right here to your profile, especially for executive assistants if you are registering other people. Um, now those are all linked to your profile if you use your profile to register people. That's been a recent upgrade that we've made, and so it's very helpful to have all that information here instead of logging into other people's profiles to make those. Um, that way you have them all. And then additionally for your own records, if you click Submissions, this will show you everything you have completed a registration form for. And this is also helpful just so you um, have personal record keeping as well as um, it has balances tied to it that connect with your invoice section as well. I think that's everything I wanted to cover there. So I will dive into the committees feature. So many of our members out there are, um, are on a committee. So we have, for example, the chief academic officers, chief student affairs officers, an institutional research committee, marketing and communications, A-plus coordinators. Those are all various committees that, um, we, that we house here at um, MCCA, and we, have we are the liaisons for those committees. It's a perk of being a member. Again, it's networking with like-minded professionals um, across the state. So when you go to the committee's part on, and I'll wait for him to switch back over, but you can see all of the committees that you are a part of. And not only can you see the committees that you're part of, you can share communications with other people on the committee, and you can see who's on the committee. It is our job to keep those up to date. And so uh, they should be updated, and you can even put who, if there's a chair of the committee, um, you can mark that on using member clicks. And so I think Bobby probably has shared some files, and so he can go and see all the files that they've shared. That way, if someone at another college has done something and you want to see whether it's a policy, so on and so forth, they can upload it into member clicks and share that with the committee. That way you don't have to recreate the wheel when, a, um, when someone you know, at another college has already done so. Okay, so community forums. Uh, the community forum provides an area for you to engage in conversations with one another, share files, and subscribe to topics. Our topics are organized by categories, and um, multiple forums inside of that can exist. And so I will take you through what that looks like as well. So we'll go back to the My Profile section, um, which you don't necessarily have to start here, but I feel this is a good home base right now. So you're going to hover over the Resources tab and click Community Forum. And this is the area where there are different topics. Um, so under MCCA Communities, there's a spot here for our sponsors to connect. And under MCCA Events is a place for people to talk about the annual convention, first timers. Um, really the sky is the limit here, and if you ever have a topic that you'd like to get started, you can just send us an email and we will open up that topic. Uh, and this is a great way for people to connect across the membership on uh, different like-minded ideas or just ways to share other information and get opinions. So cool. So now we can move on to events, another perk about using member clicks is that you can access and see all of our upcoming events. And there's a couple different ways you can view the events. You can, as you can see, when you hover over events, you get some options. And you can go to the calendar, which will um, show you all of the events month by month. So March is looking pretty good. We've got mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on. Um, and so then, obviously, if you arrow over, you can go into April, May, so on and so forth. So then you can click on those events, and those will take you – direct you to information about those events and how to register. And then if you hover over events again, you can go down to annual convention and read about our convention, get more information about that. Yeah, it's in Kansas City this year. We're really excited. Um, and then again, if you hover over events, 
you can go down to professional development and get a listing overview of all of our upcoming events. And as you can see, it just caught my eye, the hashtag MCCA19. We really want you guys to share your experience with the professional development events with other members. Um, we, like I said, we provide these opportunities to you and they're 100% suggested to us. So share with your members what the perks that we offer and the, how great the professional development is so that we can continue to grow this area. Okay, now on to the different resources that are available. Um, so let's go back over to the site. And luckily this is very straightforward again. Right under resources, there are several bits of information under here, but we're going to primarily focus on the digital repository to start with. So if you're unfamiliar, the uh, digital repository um, is a member-only library uh, that um, allows MCCA members to upload their own materials um, and it allows you to share those with everyone that is a member across the state. So to log in, you will just click on that or you can go to samplelibrary.mcca.org and you're just going to log in. Again. Again, convenient. <laughs> yes. Password right there. And in the search criteria, you can just type in anything. So example, we'll type in webinar. And you have two options, um, local results and remote results. So if you're looking for an MCCA webinar, I would just leave local checked and uncheck remote. Remote uh, will pull in anything from Skills Commons, which is um, the idea that this repository was built off of. So it does sync in results as well from Skills Commons database. So if you're just looking for MCCA stuff, um, you'll just you'll want to unclick that. And we'll go ahead and search. And there's all of the webinars that we have produced, as well as additional support materials such as the PowerPoints or handouts that go along with those. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. So users who plan to upload large collections of files or individual files over 180 MB should contact admin at mccatoday.org before uploading in order to discuss the best way to upload, organize, and describe the materials. After you have uploaded your files and completed the submission form, you are ready to publish the data. All materials uploaded to the MCCA digital repository are reviewed by an approved reviewer from MCCA's communication office or grant office before it is made public. This process ensures the submission form is completed correctly and that the files are ready for sharing. You will be contacted if changes or updates need to be made. Um, and there's also under the, right under the link for that is the FAQ. And this is really helpful just in case you have questions about what the repository is. Um, again, the link to access it. Um, and anything, uh, any other additional information like that. Um, and again, if you're curious about what the, the repository is for outside of, say, the committee um, information, this is a great way to help us, um, to, or to help you actually scale um, your materials to a larger audience, to all MCCA members. And anything that you upload is only accessible with an MCCA login. So it's not available to public viewing, to students, anything like that. So we do have um, instructors and professors who have uploaded um, tests or quizzes to share those with other people at other institutions across the state. So it really is a great way to be able to scale materials. Okay, I think we covered everything we wanted to get mm -hmm. to. If you are watching this webinar and you do have any questions, please send them to us using that email provided on the screen. Thank you guys for joining us. We hope this was helpful. Um, again, Member Clicks is a great resource for you, but always feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or are having trouble accessing something.